Today we will be demonstrating how to use the ID Wedge driver's license scanner with QuickBooks. This is assuming ID Wedge is currently installed on your PC. If you right click on the bottom right hand corner in the system task tray, you can right click on it and restore it. This is the main menu here of the ID Wedge. When the ID Wedge is on the main form here, if I scan an ID, the data will fill in all the information on the screen here. The demo is a little slow because of the recording video at the same time and the computer is getting bogged down. When the program is minimized or sent into the background, then the info is sent to QuickBooks. Main screen of QuickBooks, you would hit Control J to enter the new customer. I'm going to scan a card in the scanner here and you'll notice that it very quickly creates a new invoice and if you hit tab automatically fills in the bill to and ship to information. Here again is the main form. If I hit control J on the keyboard we get to the new customer. Again, scanning an ID in the scanner. In this case, the customer already existed. I'll zoom in now a little bit so you can read the prompt that shows on the screen. Right here, you would hit OK. And then go over here and hit Cancel. Here is a brief explanation of what ID Wedge is doing. I've got the main form open here and if you go to the configuration and click on it, go to the formula input and this is the warning about if it's the first time you've used it. Click OK. This is the formula that's actually doing all the work here so I'll briefly explain what's going on. This formula is what we use to enter data into QuickBooks and control QuickBooks itself. So if you go to the very beginning of this formula here you'll see a percent %n which actually alt n so in QuickBooks alt n gets you to a new customer form and then n creates a new customer. L is the last name space first name that enters the customer name or company name. Tab, 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 tab brings you down into the new customer form where we enter the last name, first name, tab, tab, first name, tab, middle name, tab, last name, tab, enter, A for address, enter, C for city, space, comma, state, space, zip, tab, tab, tab. These are actually the sequence of keystrokes that completes the form in QuickBooks.